Tanse, Tanse, everyone. Hello. It's me, Sin Gate. You can call me Sin for short. But um, I don't know what I'm doing with this video. You're gonna see some gameplay. I don't know what it is, what game is gonna be. But it's currently 4 a.m. I just finished editing like six videos for the week because I, I do them all in bulk on weekends, and it's a, it's a Sunday night. It's currently February 12th, or. I think it's that's yeah, February 12th, 4 a.m. So I don't know when this video will go out. Just know I recorded it on February 12th. But um, I'm kind of having like this epiphany or not epiphany. What is it called? I feel that with the way YouTube's going, it's going to be a lot harder for me to climb. And with that comes challenges. You know, I there are some videos that don't do so good. And I do a lot of good editing on them. And it hurts me because like I put four or five hours of editing into something or sometimes a whole day and it doesn't do well. And that's discouraging for me because it doesn't do as well as my other videos. Now I'm going to still do them. You know what I mean? I, I don't have any a big subscriber count. I don't have all this fancy stuff i just have limited hardware that i saved up for i think i dreamt about getting a pc for like six years six to seven maybe even longer almost like 10 years and now that i finally have one i was scared to make content scared to put up anything because what if i mess it up right what if i make mistakes and like i get canceled or i say something really bad you know because youtube has these new restrictions now which suck you know but I, I don't have a big following i know i don't i only have like a few hundred which i'm happy with i'm happy with that you guys are here i'm happy that you guys enjoy my content and i'm going to continue making it regardless even if i don't make it full time i'm still going to put content out because I, i'm not getting any younger right i'm 25 now uh, i had my birthday january 27th and that's my birthday right but it's, i'm just having one of those like nights or like the, the, it's been on my mind for a while now for, for like a whole month maybe two months ever since i turned 25 but i don't know if other people my age get this you know you feel like you want to do more now that you're like halfway to being 50 i'm gonna keep doing youtube i'm i'm gonna make it very clear i'm not gonna quit anytime soon unless my computer dies and then i have to figure out how to save money and stuff like that or find another form of content to make you know what i mean i'm gonna keep putting videos out regardless no matter what and i'm gonna keep trying and give you guys updates because that's just how i feel I, like here's like the bad thing i need to work on is that i over explain myself when i when i shouldn't i shouldn't have to do that i shouldn't have to have the need to explain myself but it's just how i am i guess it's the way i grew up uh, i had strict parents so whenever i got in trouble i always had to explain it so I, I feel like that's one of the reasons why i have the need to explain and be transparent with you guys with anybody in my community or in the comment section or anybody that watches my videos Right. But um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have I'm having a hard time, you know, I've, just because of the economy and everything. And I, I am trying to find work like I did have a job before YouTube. I had a really good paying job. I was in construction, but uh, they started they started dipping my shift. Like my, my boss just started not giving me shifts. I was making a decent amount where I could support my family and everything and it just sucked that i wasn't getting enough work like, like at all like i was working maybe six times a week and then as soon as the snow hits i went from working six times a week to only once or twice and that that really sucked because then i was only bringing in scraps and i couldn't even buy food or i couldn't even pay my rent or bills and that that really sucked and i was feeling down the dumps i did not know how to make anything better or make myself feel better so i just immersed myself into video games and i noticed i was getting bored of multiplayer games and that wasn't very healthy of me to just put all into one thing so it's like i need to find a different form i need to find something that i can be proud of something that will make me happy you know video games still makes me happy it's just the multiplayer aspect and trying to make friends with people who just only want you to be good like good at the game is what i mean like have skill like i I have a decent amount of skill. I don't know if you guys have watched me play Apex, Fortnite, or anything like that. Call of Duty, Halo. I have a decent amount, but I'm not pro level. Like, I have terrible eyes now. I have a terrible reaction speed now. Uh, I think I've explained it in past videos, but I only have one eye. And my glasses aren't very good because I lost my last pair and i'm on my backup pair right now so i just everything's fuzzy for me all the time sometimes i have to take my glasses off in order and i have to like stare at the screen like really hard or i have to go up to the screen to be able to play and i still enjoy games like that you know i feel like a kid doing that because that's how i was as a kid if my glasses got in the way or if my face was just you know because i wear heavy glasses because i have a thick prescription so my my face gets really like soft into it or it starts to hurt wearing glasses and all that i don't know if any glasses users can uh, relate to that but yeah but yeah no every, everything's expensive for me and telling you guys this just i just feel you know the need to like get it out there right like i think that's why i like having these those community streams you know uh, whoever's in my discord shout out to fallen corporal 
he's a really good dude and he's been watching me since i had 50 subscribers i think or 60 and now i have 170 and just doubled last time but he's been really cool like i really i meet some great people in discord you know the people that do talk and interact with me and send me things and shout out to um zodiac shout out to zodiac he's also been really really cool <laughs> He's been really, really active in the Discord, and I, I'm sad that I don't get to play with him very much. But, you know, I, I value those community nights of Halo or anything. I'm planning to do more on weekends, stream it, and you know, make videos out of it. I, I just enjoyed meeting new people and everything. It was, it was just really cool to learn other people's perspectives on things, right? And I'm probably, I know I'm not the first Indigenous creator there's tons of indigenous creators there's tons of natives out there but i just want to separate myself and not put my culture into my um videos you know what i mean i don't want people to know me as a native i want them to know me as me right that's just part of me i will slip it here and there you know i'm, I'm still trying to figure out how to do this computer thing and editing i'm still figuring out how to do all this stuff i'm still learning right i didn't just you know i didn't take classes or anything i'm still learning as i'm doing videos all right and that's to come ask for tips and stuff and yeah i don't know how long this video is going to be i'm just like talking you know I, I lost track see what happens when i talk i i just go along and um i feel like i need to do more for you guys i don't know why i just feel like i need to put more out there right i look at my family and i'm like where are, where are they going to be in 25 years when i turn 50 right or where are they going to be in 10 years five years from now when i'm 30 like i have all these thoughts and i'm like i gotta put more videos out i gotta talk more i gotta step up my game right because you know this is just, this is just the truth if it gets a little sappy or sad but death is like unexpected right it comes anywhere it comes fast too but doom <laughs> sorry but yeah, it, death is unexpected. And growing up, I've been to more funerals than birthdays. That's just how it is. I lose someone every year, whether it be family, friends, um, close friends, anything. Like I've lost so much just being 25 that I can't even tell you. Like, I can't explain it all in one video. Maybe if I go on a podcast or if I ever make my own podcast. That's another thing I want to do is make my own podcast someday. If I ever get, I think if I get 100,000 subscribers someday, which I believe is attainable for me if I just keep going and being consistent with my uploads and learning how to edit more. <laughs> but yeah just just things like that you know what i mean those are the kinds of thoughts i have right and you know it's pretty hard growing up in this time of age or whatever during this this different oh this different economics is that what it is i'm sorry if i get it wrong you guys can correct me you know i'm i'm very humble like if somebody proves me wrong or like gives me a different view on things then you know i'll accept it right like i'm not gonna argue with anybody that's just not my thing like i feel like arguing with people is just it's not the right thing to do but understanding people is way better right like why do you think like that why are you thinking this way you know provide examples don't belittle me don't insult me just tell me why you think that right and if you can show me why you think like that then i'll accept it right i'm not gonna judge you for it i think the only thing i'll ever judge is if you ever judge to hurt somebody you know what i mean like that's the one thing i don't stand for and i'm gonna be honest i've done that in the past and but that's the past right like i've learned from it i was like wow okay that wasn't nice of me to do i'm not gonna do that again you know learning from my mistakes and stuff anyways i'm, I'm sorry i'm getting off track <laughs> where was i content I, I feel like i need to put more content down for you guys and even better right um the software i'm using is obs for recording and i have a shitty mic i'm gonna be honest with you i have a shitty mic it's a fi fine mic you know what that is it's very cheap it's like 60 to 80 dollars something like that so it's very shitty but it's it's very cost friendly for me. I also use uh, DaVinci, DaVinci Resolve as my editing software. I do have CapCut. I have all these other ones, but I, I'm more comfortable DaVinci Resolve just because I found out I could do more on it and it feels kind of more professional for me. And I'm still getting used to it. I still edit two to three hours per video. Uh, some projects are taking longer, like uh, some of the streams I'm doing, uh, like the Halo stream recently, the Signalis stream, and a few other streams I'm ripping off of Twitch. And I'm still editing them. It's just taking longer because they're longer forms of uh, videos and longer forms of content. And it just, it's just harder for me to uh, edit longer videos, you know? So I always edit, I always put those last. I do them last, right? So what I mean by I do them last, like I'll do Ratchet and Clank, I'll do a Zelda video, or I'll do another form of video like a horror game, and then I'll do the streams last. Like I'll put 30 to 40 minutes aside and do them last. Anyways, yeah, just just thoughts, just lots of thoughts. And I don't know who's gonna listen to this video. Um, probably my siblings. Those are my biggest supporters. Those are the guys I talk to all the time. 
I'm very passionate about gaming. I know I know my brothers with it and my sisters. I just love video games. I love all everything about it. I think that's what I'm known for in the family is that I'm a huge nerd for video games and anime. I'm a huge nerd for cartoons, movies, Marvel, DC, um, fan fiction, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. I even tried to learn Elvish once. <laughs> just lots of, I'm just a huge nerd for everything. I, I remember I spent maybe like a whole like seven months just learning about Lord of the Rings and the Cimmerillium and like stuff like that, the history of it, the ages. Uh, Harry Potter, I learned all about the lore and everything. Just lots of stuff. Anyways, I am going to play Jack and Daxter. I haven't started that yet. And speaking of Jack and Daxter, I asked Fallen Corporal this, but I'm going to ask you guys if anyone listens to this fully, do I have to play the racing game <laughs> for, for Jack? jack and daxter because i I, my, I can ask my cousin to help me hook it up you know he's been helping me a lot my cousin like he's been giving me uh recommendations and he's been basically all he does is uh all my cousin does is help me set everything up and but that's that's my cousin that's he helps me a lot he doesn't watch my videos sadly <laughs> he's much older he's like 34 35 so i don't like bugging him very much but yeah speaking of like what I was saying before about uh, living hard. I am on EIA. I'm going to admit that I, I don't have a job right now. Like I said, I'm job hunting. I, I am doing interviews. I'm doing calls like Zoom calls, like Zoom meetings. They have job Zoom meetings. And that's what I've been busy with. And those last a long time, three to four hours. And then I also have other programs to go to, like job training. Like I just recently learned how to, um, what should I call it? My essential skills of handling cash, like a cash register. Uh, I got my food handlers and stuff like that. Just I'm learning new skills to develop my way into working right because all the skills i have is being a youth care worker uh, a teacher i was a construction worker i was a receiving clerk dairy clerk you know i worked with milk and i worked with receiving products from big semis and all that so oh, and i was a bank teller i was a bank teller i have all these skills and i became a bank teller right out of high school and i did that for like a year uh, but the teaching i've been doing since i was 13. when i was when i was 13 uh, my mom got really sick like just her she got kidney failure and she, one of her kidneys just gave out, and then the other one gave out, like back to back. And that really, that really sucked, I'm gonna be honest. And I was only 13 years old, and I did not know how to make money, right? Being 13, you, my mom was like the source of income at that time, like she worked as a, a healthcare aide. So what she would do is she would go into like old people's houses and clean, clean for them and stuff like that, help them, help them with basic living. And that, that really sucked. Right, and so me being 13, I, I'm a powwow dancer. I don't know if you guys know that. It's an indigenous type of dance. I can probably, if you guys want to learn more about that, it's on my TikTok. You can go to my TikTok page and learn more about that. But if you guys want me to post a video, post more content of me dancing, I can show you. I have videos of me at powwows and stuff. And if you guys want to learn more about that, you can comment down below. Uh, if you guys want to learn about my native side, my indigenous side, I will give you that. Like, I grew up around it. I grew up in ceremonies. I grew up, and I do have an Indian name, all right? <laughs> I do have an Indian name, but yeah, I'll answer any questions you guys have. Okay, in the comments below. <laughs> yeah, no, back to my mom. So my mom, you know, lost kidneys, and I was a dancer. Still am a dancer, but I did not know how to make money. And I met this guy, his name's Coco Ray Stevenson. He's basically, I think of him as like my mentor. And what I mean by mentor, I mean like he taught me how to be, do public speaking. He taught me how to teach other people about my dance. Taught me different stories. And you know, he was, he was really good to me. He still is good to me. But uh, what ended up happening is he basically gave me a job. And I started teaching kids around my age, like other kids, how to dance powwow. And what I dance is grass dancing. And basically what grass dancing is, is just... It sounds silly to other people, to other cultures, but grass dancing is a form of dancing where it's a freestyle. Like, you, you dance like the grass. You know what I mean? You sway and move and smooth like the grass when the wind kisses it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how else to explain it. If you want to know more, just look up grass dancing. Look up men's grass, uh, 2023, or anything up until, I think the the 1990s or 2000s because then other than that you're just gonna get vhs tapes if you want to learn more type in men's grass any year all right you're gonna see a bunch of powwow videos you're gonna see that side of native americans or indians you know what i mean or indigenous or first nations people there are many things i prefer first nations or indigenous 
or even you know i'm okay with indian i'm not i'm not a, i'm not i don't get offended easily all right i never get offended easily unless you attack my family or you attack my friends people i care about that's that's when i start getting offended right <laughs> anyways he helped me teach kids and that basically hooked me up with a job so i was making 100 bucks a week uh, just imagine 100 bucks a week for three hours for teaching kids and i was only 13 and i would be working from five to eight so that's it i would just go to a gymnasium teach some kids a few steps here and there or even teach them advanced moves uh show them how to hop and dance and like show, break it down to them very slowly and yeah that's what i would do i did that up until i was like 20. whenever the pandemic hit is when everything just went to shit. but that's that was my source of income that was me helping with the bills that was me bringing groceries that was me paying for the internet that was me paying rent too because my mom couldn't pay it fully because now she had to be on disability because she lost her kidneys and uh, basically after coco ray stevenson taught me how to teach other kids i branched off i went from teaching one night to the different organizations to different schools pretty soon i was working monday to sunday i did not have a day off and i was teaching kids every either in the morning on weekends let me rephrase that mornings basically all day on weekends if i'm thinking about it because i would teach in the morning on friday and then in the afternoon on friday and then evening friday saturday sunday like it would be like that for friday and sunday and i would and then during the week i'd be only teaching in the evenings and wednesday and thursday i had two classes so uh right after school i'd have to get home before five so i'd get home 4 30 and then i would go to the nearest uh place that needed me and I'll take a bus there and I would get there, you know, do do the warm up stretch, just everything that I do. And then after that, that that's done. Like I go till eight and then I walk and rush home to change my uh, my clothes. And then I go to the next place from nine to eleven thirty. Then I'd get home around twelve, twelve thirty and either play video games for an hour, do my homework or just go to bed and then wake up early enough to do my homework. Right. That's that's what I was like for up until I graduated. And then before the pandemic, I was doing banking. I was doing banking from seven to four, I believe, or seven to three thirty. And then from there, I'd get home at four thirty, get dressed out of my suit, my tux. And then I would go right into uh, teaching in the evenings all the way till 11, get home, sleep, get up early around six, go for work at 630. And then, you know, that's how it was for a long time. Pandemic hit and then everything just that source of income was gone. And then I started doing construction and then construction fell through because COVID restrictions got really serious. And then I went from working into a grocery store and then from there, uh, the grocery store fell through because they were starting to cut employees because of covid restrictions again the covid <laughs> and then from there they i worked as a youth care worker and i got my shots and i stayed there up until for like seven eight months and then that fell through because they didn't renew my contract and then i became a receiving worker so i that's when i started bringing in things and then i went homeless because then the cost of living went living went up like ridiculous i had to pay like 1200 in rent and then my bills were kicking my ass i think i was making i was only making 1600 for a month and i had to pay my bills and my rent got shot up from 800 to 1100 and then my cable bill shot up my cable bill went from 60 dollars to all of a sudden 123 i believe and they double paid me because i missed one payment and they added interest on it and so i started paying like i think i said i i think they said i owed like 450 550 around there and i was just really upset i was like what you guys did not tell me like i was just so upset i was like come on man i can't pay this by this date you know they wanted the money right away you know how companies are right that was just for cable and then my electricity bill came in and it's always been like really low like if i think about my electricity bills that was like 40 dollars. but this time they said i didn't pay for five months which is ridiculous because I have all the receipts and my email. And I was just angry. I was like, what? What? And then they said I owed, uh, I think they said I owed like maybe 500 there. So I was just mad. I was like, wow, I'm getting bombarded. And then a water bill came in. Water bill for me at that time, I was living alone in an apartment that was only $30 per month. But they first, I think I had a leak in my apartment, I think, because then my bill came back from my water bill and I just paid it the month before came up to three hundred dollars and so i was just like what the hell man i'm getting bombarded with bills and i couldn't take that job and i went homeless in all the places i asked for for like a, of course i went to like agencies and i went to applying at different houses month 
months before. Um, and uh, what ended up happening is I went homeless for a good week. But luckily my stepmom pulled through, helped me move, gathered all my stuff, and I took my cats. I have two beautiful cats. <laughs> you probably hear them here and there with their little bells, or hear them meow, meow in some episodes or in uh, the Minecraft videos. But um, yeah, and then that happened. And I was just so mad. I was like, wow, I lost my house. I lost so much. I was like, what the fuck? I can't live on my own. And so I got another construction job. And then, of course, I told you what happened before. And and I got a computer. I saved up like two years of it. I saved up. I think I spent like 6000 I saved up. And I bought everything that I dreamt of. I was like, fuck this. I'm just going to buy a computer because it's what I want. I've never, I never get what I want. I've never gotten anything I want since COVID. So I was like, let's just do it. And I did. And then I did the construction job. And I was like thinking about doing YouTube. I was actually thinking of doing YouTube as soon as I got my PC. It took me a year of convincing myself to do YouTube, to start posting videos, to start putting it out there. Eventually, I just said, fuck it. Let's do it. You know, and I didn't think people would watch. I'm going to be honest. I didn't think anybody would watch. I didn't think anybody would sit here and watch me play a game I've never played before. Something that I'm passionate about. I didn't think anybody who shared my passion in video games. You know, there's a lot of you that love Ratchet and Clank. And I'm becoming a fan. Like, I'm becoming a really vivid fan for it. Anyways, that's a little bit about me and my thoughts lately. I feel better now just, just putting this out there. Whatever gameplay is playing, I hope it's Apex or something. I don't know what it is, but it, it better be something good. <laughs> Whoever watches this fully, too, I, I'm i sorry for rambling on so long. But please join the Discord, like and subscribe this video, or any future video, anything at all. I will probably watch this back a year from now and see where I've gone with this YouTube thing. I don't think I can make money off this, but I know I can make some memories. Uh, my whole goal for the channel, this uh, this is how I'm gonna end this this uh, video, is that the whole goal for this channel is to make memories, put content out there, leave a legacy behind, and be proud of it. Also, to meet new people like you guys, my subscribers, people that join the Discord, you know, people that stick around, right? But yeah, that's, that's how I'm gonna end this video. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you for, you know, anything at all that you guys do. I appreciate it. I appreciate everything, man. I appreciate everything you guys do. No matter what. I'm just a random person on the internet to you guys. But I thought I should share that, right? Just, I just feel like putting it out there because you never know. Right? You never know what's going to happen. These are scary times. But I hope I bring some joy to you guys. I better end this video on a fucking win. I swear. Whatever game I'm playing, it better be ending on a fucking win. <laughs> Anyways, I've taken too much of you guys' time. Whoever's listening. Whoever watches this. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna leave you with another honest opinion. Now, I know I keep saying that, but like, I think my videos are trash. Like, I think I could, you know, do so much better, but I just, I don't have the ability right now, right? Like, I don't have that knowledge. I will learn it, but I think my videos are shit. But I still put it out there because that's just me. That's my opinion. You guys, you know, you guys decide what's shit and what's not, right? <laughs> Without further ado, sorry for taking up too much of your time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Make sure to take care of yourself, get tons of sleep, get a full eight hours, drink lots of water. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> No, they're fucking mercy solo. Got the bitch. I'm here. Let's go. We can wait for the other two. Oh, are they pushing? Oh my god. Oh, I got fucking, fucking... Got me killed. Oh my god, dude. I'm sick of fighting. I really hate fighting against them. I honestly do. Because I'm always alone. Oh, fuck off, man. Oh, you Moira, you bitch. Oh my god, fucking Reinhardt. Oh. I'll remember that for next time. Eva needs to be the one to fight Reinhardt.
This grapple won't insta kill her, it'll just fucking stun her through something. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Is this where I punch her? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is where I switched to damage mode. I was like, <laughs> kill, kill. 